Hey friends, this is part two of the Maslow CNC setup. I'm gonna go over step one that talks about the electronics and step two that is setting up your Adreno. Uh, this is stuff that I'm not super comfortable with um, and so I took my time, I was methodical, I really didn't want to screw anything up. So we got the motors straight out of the box, they were in bubble wrap. Um, there was a sticker on the bubble wrap that told you which one was X, which one was Y, so I labeled the motors. Totally unnecessary though, once you connect them to your, your computer, you're going to assign it which one's X, which one's Y, so labeling is really not that important. Um, we have the blue cords, the data cables that connects to the motors. Um, I really expected them to click when I pushed them in, but they didn't really. Um, so keep that in mind when you're plugging them in. I was using like a screwdriver trying to jam it in there to sort of click, but it never really clicked. So um, once you have your motors connected, if you follow the assembly guide, you're plugging one motor into port one, the other motor into port three. Port two is going to be used for your Z-axis motor. Uh, you're going to want to get set up by your computer. I recommend doing this inside, not where you're building the frame, because you're going to get sawdust everywhere. So this process is actually pretty easy. Um, it's a lot different than some of the videos you might see on YouTube about how to set up the Maslow, this newer kit. Um, the Adreno and the, and the shield come already in together. The heat sinks are installed. Uh, there's none of that setup going on. You just are basically plugging and playing. Um, with the motors at least. Um, it's a lot different than a lot of the videos you're going to see online. So you literally plug in one motor to port one, the second motor into port three. It's, um, it's pretty simple. Alright, then you're going to want to plug in the power supply to the Adreno. You're going to want to put it in the port in between the shield and the actual Adreno. And then you just have your USB uh, plug which goes right into the only spot that it can go into and you're ready to set up. So on the assembly guide uh, under step one there's all these instructions to attach the heat sinks, connect the Adreno shield. You don't have to do any of that with this new setup. Um, you just have to plug in the motors, plug in the USB cord and the power supply and you're ready to go. Alright the next step is to download Adreno. You'll uh, download it to your computer. Once that's loaded in, you're going to want to download the latest firmware for it. It's a zip file, so download it somewhere it's easy to find for you. Unzip it. Find the file that you need to actually update the firmware. It's usually pretty easy to find. Actually, it will only be, it'll be the only file available for you once you open it up in Adreno. Everything else will be grayscale, you can't select it. So you go into Adreno, select File, Open, pull up that folder, and there's the only file you can use. So you plug it in, and your firmware is up to date. Next, you're going to want to select the board type. That's just telling your Adreno what you're using. You go down to uh, Tools, Board, and you select the Mega option. Next you're going to want to tell it which port you're using. This usually is pretty easy. It's just your USB port. So there's going to be a bunch of different names for ports. Um, just go to the one that has USB in the name and that should get you where you're going. For me it was the last option on there. Alright, next you're going to want to upload the firmware. So, there's little circle icons on the top left, go into the Adreno, click the second one from the left. It takes a couple minutes, but it'll load up. I sped that up in the video. And that's it for the Adreno. So then you go on to the next step, which is ground control, which is the software that controls your actual router on the Maslow. Select which kind of computer you're using. It'll redirect you to the software for you to download. Just follow the prompts, download the most recent release of it, and install ground control. It's pretty easy. 
Next you'll want to launch ground control and we're going to connect ground control to the Adreno so that we can run our Maslow. So basically you're telling um, ground control which port that you're using the Adreno in. Same kind of thing with the Adreno, you're telling it which port to use. So go into actions, ports, and then select that same USB port that you selected with the Adreno. Should be pretty simple. And then you're connected to ground control. I don't really know what this little prompt is saying right here, uh, but you're connected. And this is what ground control looks like. Um, I was just playing around with it. Um, I wanted to get the motors just to run without having it connected to the frame or anything. I just sitting there with my computer and wanted to see if I could get the motors to run. I never did. But that's essentially it as far as uh, the electronics and then setting up the Adreno and ground control uh, for the Maslow. So it's a pretty simple process. Follow the assembly guide. Uh, like I said though, the new Maslow um, as of 2019, it's July now, um, a lot of the steps are done for you so it makes it a little bit easier for you. But it's a pretty easy process. Most people can handle it without any technical know-how or background. It's it's uh, basically plug and play. I'm assuming that the calibration uh, aspect of all this is going to be one of the most time-consuming and uh, technically challenging parts. But uh, we will get to that when we get to it. Uh, for now, that is how you set up your Adreno and, uh, and ground control. Steps 1 and 2 for the assembly guide for the Maslow CNC.